that. We are live on Positively Happy to Be Me. It is another Wednesday morning, hence the title Hump Day, Happy Chat. I'm Valerie Shepard, founder and CEO of the Heart of Living Vibrantly Center for Mindfulness and Self-Mastery. And I'm here to teach you a little bit more about what self-mastery is and that whole idea of mastering yourself in your life so that you can exquisitely manage whatever your life brings your way. And you have control over that, believe it or not. And so we're going to talk today about um, happiness principles that can help you in that whole experience. And I'm sitting amidst one of my favorite trees. Isn't it beautiful? There's a little bit of outside noise, but when I tested my uh, microphone, I couldn't hear too much on the playback, so I'm just going to go for it. So hi there. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Happy Wednesday. So today I want to talk about this thing called specificity. I love that word. Specificity. My marketing students don't like it so much when I talk about it but it's really important. It's really important in all areas of your life. So let's, let's talk about this for a second. So when you think about it, specificity is about precision, the quality of um, belonging to or relating to a particular subject. Um, I think of it as saying what you really mean to say, doing what you really mean to do or want to do. And if you're like me, there are times in our lives when we don't feel safe or invited or um, supported to be as specific as we want to be. But specificity is important, right? So in one way it's important. There's even a principle of specificity in exercise and training. And this principle basically states that your body makes gains from whatever exercise you do according to how you exercise the body. Pretty straightforward, right? In other words, if you want more flexibility, do things that increase flexibility. If you want to have more strength, then weight train. If you want to increase your endurance, then do exercises that increase endurance. So there's a principle of specificity in the world. It's important. So let's talk about it. So think about how many times you're imprecise. My favorites are the way people answer this important question. How's it going? How are you? Right? And how many times do you utter or do you hear someone else utter, fine, you see someone leaving and you say, have a great day, have a good day. And at the end of the day, do you even know what you mean by that? Are you saying anything? And are they hearing what you would like them to really hear? Or have they heard it so often that it actually stands for nothing? So here's where specificity can really help you. can really help you bring in, what is it that I really want to say? And it's a lot more fun. So I, um, <laughs> I brought some friends help me demonstrate what can happen when we get more specific. So this is Pear. Um, Pear is his nickname and it's short for Purple Bear. And this is <laughs> Snuffleupolis. <laughs> and Snuffleupolis isn't short for anything. And I know that right this minute, some of you out there are going, oh my God, she's gonna do something with stuffed animals. That's ridiculous. And I say, yes, it is, um, because silliness is a part of my living happy to be me equation. Uh, there's a silliness in me. I bet you there's some in you too. You might need to go search for it if you've been too serious lately. But I bet we all have some serious, um, some silliness. Yeah, we do all have seriousness too. But I'm calling you into some silly. And where does the silly come from? It comes from your inner child and she or he may be locked up for too long and wanting to express, and it may tickle your heart to do so. So that's what I'm doing, so get over it. Okay, so Pear and Snuffleupolis are having a conversation, and it goes like this. Hello, Pear. 
Hi, Selfie. What's going on with you today? How you doing? Well, I'm fine. Yeah, me too. Have a great day, Snuffy. Yeah, you too, Pear. See ya. Pretty innocuous. Also pretty boring. Also kind of not connected. Like, I don't even sense they're connected to themselves or to other people or to other stuffed animals. So think about if you could be more specific. So what if Snuffleupolis said, hey, Pear, how's it going? And Pear said, hey, Snuffy. Well, you know what? I had a not so good experience yesterday and it still feels kind of weighty on me, but otherwise I'm doing okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Pear. If you need some help and you want to talk about it, I can't really do it right this minute, but I'm here for you so you can always call me, okay? Oh, Snuffy, that's so sweet. Thank you, I appreciate that. Right now, I think I'm going to try and manage it on my own. It's not too heavy, but I just just was being honest. Um, but I might call you and take you up on that. That's a great idea, Pear. And then I can share with you, you know, sometimes I have heavy days too. They're no fun. But we can get through them together. And remember, I'm here for you. Oh, Snuffy, that's so sweet. Yes, you can actually do that. Like, be specific. Ask for what you want. Say what's real and true. Give the other person the opportunity to say, can't deal with that right now. I'm not the container. Um, but what if what is real and true is, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Everybody would love to share that with you. So the fine, which virtually means nothing because it means everything from, I would really like to stab myself in the eye to wow, this is awesome. It's just nothing. So I encourage and invite you to be in that space of specific, like follow pair. Okay. So for example, if you want more happy in your life, you have to be specific about how that happy can show up. And guess what? You've got to deal with what's going on in here. And when you bottle up what's going on in here, because you're afraid to share it, because you're afraid the other person can't receive it, when actually the other person is looking to connect and looking to create and looking to feel and be felt as well. When you are willing to go there, you can create more happiness in your life in that very moment. And notice that it starts with you allowing a little vulnerability bringing in a lot of trust, a lot of trust, mostly for yourself. I trust myself. Hi, Hummingbird. Hi. <laughs> Joy is happening here. I trust myself that sharing myself is actually going to serve myself. Mm. Even saying that feels good. I trust myself that sharing myself with specificity is gonna serve myself. And the more you do that, the more you love yourself, the more you make it okay to be all of you in your silliness. Yeah, you can be silly too. Yeah. In your silliness and in your seriousness and in your sorrow and in your fear and in your confusion. And whatever you're flowing can just flow on out and dissipate. You don't have to sit in it. The more you trust yourself to be yourself, the more happiness is going to land in your heart and your lap and you won't be able to outrun it. Guaranteed. So Happiness is a part of who you are. You just have to tap into it right here in the middle of your chest and that big, beautiful heart that you are. Tap in. Let it out. Shine your love light. Shine your happiness light. And be specific about what it is you're really creating as you, through you, with you, for you, by you your angels, your guardians, your ancestors, the net of light, the universe is standing by to support you. All you have to do is help them. Help them help you. Show them what you want. 
and watch for it to show up. Ha <laughs> ha. It's another hump day happy chat. Okay, so we're saying bye now. Signing off from hump day happy chat with Valerie Shepard, Pear, and what is your, oh, Snavalopoulos. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Wishing you love and life. Bye now.